So again, welcome to World History. Uh, my name is Mr. Spaulding, and this year at Windsor High School, I'm teaching AP World History and Early Global Studies. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and uh, then ask you to complete a survey that will tell me a little bit about you so I can better understand you. I was born here in Connecticut. That's not a picture of me. <laughs> Um, but I was born here in Connecticut, like many of you, um, when I was a teenager in middle school, my parents got divorced and I moved to Southern California with my mother and two brothers. We lived in Ventura, which is on the coast. And, and, um, I went to school in uh, California. I went to uh, middle school and high school, and I went to college and university in California, one year here in Connecticut, and then um, went to the University of California in Santa Barbara. This is the University of California campus. And uh, my dormitory was uh, right about there in those trees. You can't really see it. Um, yes, I could hear the ocean at night. And um, yeah, it is really pretty. <laughs> After that, I um, taught in Southern California for a few years. I taught elementary school. And then I moved to South India. This is a botanical garden in the Southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. I taught there for uh, nearly seven and a half years and met my wife there. So my wife was a mathematics teacher and uh, she is from North India. But we were married in this town in South India, and you can see it's a very hilly area. It's high in the mountains, about 7,000 feet elevation, and very pretty. The school is right beside these gardens. A number of years later, my family and I uh, moved to South Korea, where we taught uh, for a year. We taught in this big city called Daejeon, and we lived in a high-rise apartment building on the ninth floor. Um, my two kids learned how to read and speak Korean. They don't understand all of it, but they can read all of it. And I don't understand any <laughs> Korean uh, because I was teaching in the English language. Uh, but Daejeon is the Silicon Valley of South Korea, very uh, huge city, but Korea is a, South Korea is a wonderful place to live that's very different than here. I've taught in... Uh, Connecticut for a number of years in uh, other districts, and now I'm teaching in Windsor. I've been teaching in Windsor for uh, 11 years. This is my 12th year in Windsor, and I'm really happy to be here. Uh, my children went to school here at Windsor High School and graduated and are doing very well at the University of Connecticut, and I think you can get a fantastic education here at Windsor High School. I'm convinced of that. It's up to you. Um, We'll look at the detailed syllabus for each class in a little bit. Um, but if you're in AP world, we'll be getting with industrialization. If you're in early global studies, um, both the high honors and the regular, we'll be looking at human origins and the Mediterranean world. And then we'll be moving on to the 20th, 19th century and um, in the next semester. Um, general class information. Um, and four long-term goals. I've already shared with you my long-term goals, so I'm not going to go over those again, but I want to share with you a little bit about assignments. Um, the two types of assignments, homework. Homework is 20%, not 10%. And assessments are 80%, not 90%. So that has changed this year. Homework and participation is essential. We'll be doing lots of writing, some longer-term projects, quizzes almost every lesson. Uh, they don't count for a lot individually, but all, when you add them all up together, they do count for about a test grade. So you want to do well on them. Um, but uh, if you don't do well on, on one or two small ones or, um, you know, you're struggling on them, let, let me know and I can help you out. But quizzes are usually going to be on something we've done in just the previous lesson. Once in a while, I'll throw in some review que questions from uh, maybe weeks ago. Okay. Tests, I'll always tell you in advance when a test is going to be. 
um, unless it's a pop quiz. If I ask you to resubmit something, that means resubmit it. It means ask me um, or read the comments that I write um, and then resubmit it. It doesn't mean you just rewrite it. It means you make some changes. And often that will mean you just change part of what you've done, not all of it. So resubmit doesn't mean that you necessarily have to do the whole thing over. You might just need to change some small parts or make some editing changes to it. Um, I'm not going to come after you and hound you about work you need to resubmit. Um, but if you resubmit it and if you do better, you'll get the higher grade. If you don't resubmit it, then you'll keep whatever grade you earned the first time around. Uh, class information is going to be always on Google Classroom, and that will there will be additional materials from the class on Google Classroom. So that's an important tool to learn how to use well. I'll show you some tips on how to use Google Classroom effectively. So my short-term goal is to help you succeed as a student, and but I have four long-term goals. I'd like you to furnish your mind, transform your mind, become more charitable, and extend yourself to excel. I would suggest these are great goals for all four years in high school. And uh, we can help you do that here in world history. You might see these goals on a quiz in the future. I'm looking forward to learning more about you. So if you would complete the student survey that I will post on Google Classroom, then I'll understand a little bit more about you and be able to help you better this year.